we are back in the garage. I'm in the middle of editing my Oregon BDR video, but I wanted to throw this one in, in between my last one and the Oregon BDR one. So I posted this picture on the, uh, the Bronco Nation Facebook page. And oh boy, did it spark some lively debate on whether or not going off road and getting your pinstripes is ruining the vehicle and people calling it anything from stupid to, you know, everything else in the book. So let me show you what it looks like now. It's since rained since we've been back, but I haven't washed it. I didn't want to wash it till I could then tend to it and try and get rid of some of these scratches. Most of them are in the clear coat, so they should majority buff out. But here's the thing. I said it on my TikTok. I didn't buy this thing to be a pavement princess or just crawl them all. We bought it to take us places that a regular car can't go to pull our camper and have experiences out in the wild. So here's what it looks like now. As you can see, tons of scratches. Let me try from the other angle because this is getting kind of, there you go. So this side definitely took the worst of it. So we're gonna try and do some treatment on it here. First, I'm gonna take it to the car wash. Before anybody says anything, yes, it's going through a car wash with brushes and stuff. Does it look like it matters at this point? I just need to get the dirt off. But first we need to, where's it at? Take off the jack or they won't let me go through. So let me get the key to take this off. I don't know why I leave that jack on there other than I don't want it taking up space in my garage, but the car wash gets a little funky with stuff. They even mentioned stuff about the hitch. I guess their sensors won't let the brushes go all the way around the back, which is fine. I'm not, again, not super concerned with the front or the back getting super clean. This is more to get the dirt off on the sides so that we can try and buff some of this stuff out. button this back up here and we'll be on our way to the car wash for any of you bronco owners interested in this i'll leave a link down in the comments i got this off amazon it's not a super name brand there's a couple spots on here let me show you a couple spots where it's starting to rust a little bit right there nothing a uh, quick splash of paint won't fix what i will say is if you do go with this model the bolts here they give you a replacement set of bolts for your hinges, but they are not long enough. So I just went to Ace Hardware and I got longer stainless steel bolts with a stainless steel lock washer. And then this jack holder does come with these little inserts that kind of help center it in the hole of the hinge. Not a super hard install, but anyway, let's get to the car wash. I just had to pull over because my GoPro keeps freezing up, whether sometimes it's mid recording, I stopped the last recording, went to start recording, again and it just won't turn on I won't do anything and of course because I'm using the media mod I have to take it completely apart take it off the tripod slide it out of the media mod and unplug the battery just to get it to work if you don't watch Matt's off-road recovery this is a nod to them with the weather it is a crisp 57 degrees and you can see the Sun is shining Hardly a cloud in the sky. I believe it's supposed to be about 70 today, which is gonna be awesome. There's not many of these days left before it is cold and rainy. So we're just about to the car wash through. But anyway, that's just my little rant about the stupid GoPro. I have a the Hero 10, so I'm a little behind, but I don't understand why it keeps freezing up. So I guess I'll just live with it for now and see, I don't know. You don't need a super fancy camera to make videos. So anyway, Onto the car wash. This is my favorite car wash. It's fairly, yeah, I say it's new. It's been here now probably for years, but I remember when they opened it, it's got uh, nice conveyor belt type things to bring you through, which is really nice. There's a Jeep in front of me, boo Jeep. No, just kidding. I love all off-road vehicles. So I need to pay attention here. He's guiding me in. It's funny, they try and rush me in here to get right behind the vehicle in front of us. But I like to leave space because them brushes come around the backside, man. I don't know, I like to give them time. And we're in neutral, here we go. Going through the car wash. And again, I know what a lot of people are gonna say. Oh my God, you went through the brush car wash. It's gonna, again, have you seen the outside of the car? This is to get it clean. 
then we're gonna take care of all the scratches and ding. Well, not all of them. Some of them are pretty deep, so I don't know if they're gonna come out. We shall see, right? It's all we can do. Again, I'm not looking for like some kind of professional paint restoration situation here. As long as I can get the majority of them out, that's fine. Don't plan on trading this in anytime soon. So definitely thinking about a wrap. I don't know if it'll happen. It would be nice. I really like that Expel Stealth Wrap. I love the matte finish of it. If I was gonna go with one, I'd probably do that. I like the black. I know it shows all the dirt, but I just love black. I love black cars. All right, we're about through to the car wash here and then it'll be right back home to get started on uh, trying to get some of these scratches out. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like now that it's clean. Those that aren't familiar with uh, off-roading, a lot of this pinstripe scratches you see like after being out on the trail is simply from the dirt being rubbed by a tree branch and nothing more. It's not actually a scratch. They look like scratches. So now that she's clean, I'm curious to see. I mean, I know there's a lot in there still that are definitely scratches but uh, I'm curious to see exactly what it looks like now that she's clean. So let's get on home and check it out. And the GoPro froze up on me again. I wanted to do first impressions, like my reaction to what it looks like. I saw the driver's side, so let's take a look at the driver's side, but I haven't looked at the passenger side yet. So it's, it's pretty much what I thought it would be. I know the glare is really bad, so I'm hoping this is showing up. I mean, very minor most of this should buff out like this stuff right here i'm a little worried about that's a little deep in the clear coat again nothing nothing as bad i mean to me it looks look there's already dust on this thing not as bad as i thought okay let's see what the passenger side looks like instant reaction here we go ready one two three okay they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand i mean again very similar most of what you saw were actually scratches i'm hoping they're showing up on the gopro because of the angle and the glare i mean again i don't feel any of the well maybe that little guy right there i can feel with my fingernail that's usually a good indicator on whether or not it's an actual scratch down to the paint that's just some smoosh that didn't come off i mean some of these deeper ones ah, just barely like again i don't think it's in the paint i mean that brush i was going through was manzanita that's a pretty hard wood so anywho let's get this process started wow look at that exposure let's get this process started and see how well it comes out now we're not i'm not a professional paint restorer i'm not looking for completely restored paint what i use mcguire scratch x that's exactly what they market it for to get scratches out of your clear coat and it has worked pretty well for me so far let me get my orbital buffer out i used to do it <laughs> it makes it much faster with the orbital buffer i used to do it with the little drill attachments which are like you know i don't know three four inches wide maybe and it took forever now i have a nice ryobi orbital polisher that i'll show you in a second and that gets the job done a lot faster so let's get going with that so i like to do it in sections basically i'll take this front quarter panel here and i'll do this whole thing here you can really tell so the ford factory puts on a protective like bra on the front i don't know if you can see that line right there but you can definitely tell that did help protect but even then there's little scratches in there obviously not i mean you can see where it starts and then you can really see the scratches after that here's my orbital buffer it's the Ryobi plug-in kind. Got the cord run out. Now I bought this package of different pads. This is like a microfiber cloth. It's better for doing like the scuffing rather than I do have wax pads too. First, I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe, get any dust off, because that's not gonna help our cause at all. For those of you who have never used this product before, all you do is you get yourself the drill attachment or you get yourself an orbital buffer like that. You put some on the pad, you spread it around and you just go to town and then you polish it on and then you wipe it right off. Now it does have wax like wax built in but I always I do the whole thing and then I do my own waxing afterwards so we're gonna throw some of this bad boy on the pad here and I don't know maybe I'm weird but what I like to do is kind of dab it on in different spots that way I know it's covered and then let's go how's it going That's exactly what was happening. <laughs> Does it come out pretty good? I mean, we'll see. 
I mean, I know some of them are pretty deep. I don't think they're. I don't think they're down to the paint, but. <laughs> oh, it was really fun. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, let's see what that does. That was my neighbor. I have super nice neighbors. I can still see some of them in here, but we'll see. Sometimes as you wipe it off, it kind of makes them go away. And again, some of these, once I uh, wax it, some of them will disappear too as the wax fills them in. I mean, again, this isn't some kind of miracle product that's gonna bring this thing back to a factory shine here with no imperfections at all. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see them still, some of them. I don't feel them in, like my fingernail doesn't feel them. So I'm thinking, I wonder if I go for like a second round on this, if that'll help. I guess we can try, right? Ooh, that might've been a little too much, but oh well. Is there such a thing? I guess probably to get some of that off of there. Put it over here. All right, let's go for a round two, huh? I don't know if you can hear me over this machine, but I'm noticing a lot more of them disappearing again now with the second round. Some of these deeper ones I don't think are gonna really go away too much. Hey, I noticed a lot of them seem to be gone. I know I probably shouldn't put that on the ground. It's picking up leaves and everything. All right, well, we'll wipe it with the non-leaf side. I mean, even these deep ones, I mean, they're almost gone. So I think that second round definitely helped. Again, some more of these will disappear once I throw some wax on this bad boy. But yeah, like these are like almost nothing now. I bet you those are gonna dis almost disappear when, once I throw wax on it. I like it, cool. All right, well, I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch me do the whole thing. Maybe I'll time lapse the rest of this side and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Let me get back in frame. We'll take a look at what it looks like once I'm done. go two applications of scratch x on each panel i don't know if the results are going to show up on the gopro this isn't you know professional paint correction here this is a do-it-yourself at home will it get it good enough for your liking and get the job done and i gotta say yes can i still see some scratches in the clear coat of course but they are much better i have no idea if it's going to show up on the gopro but even some of those deep ones that i thought weren't gonna do nothing. And this is without wax yet. I wanna try and hurry up and put wax on this side before the sun comes around this side so that it has a chance to sit and not get baked in by the sun. So again, I have no idea if these are showing up on the GoPro. Again, you look closely enough, you can see it. You step back here, I mean, you would never know unless you're standing at a very certain angle. I'll be curious now once I get the actual wax on how much better it'll look even after that. Let's get the wax on because the sun is coming over quickly and I want to get it on before it's actually shining on this side. And then I can do the other side in the shade also. We're going to remove this pad and I'm going to use a new pad for the other side because that is soaked through. Let me throw that away. And I will grab a nice fresh, it's almost like a, it's not sheep, like that sheepskin stuff, but it feels like it. Nice and soft for the wax. And then I will also be using a fresh rag to wipe off the wax, so don't worry about that. And of course, any of you paint pros in the comments wanna tell me how I'm doing it wrong, or we should never use this, or just have it professionally done. If it's in the budget, sure, go for it. Have it professionally done, and it'll look like the day you brought it off the lot. But if you can't afford that all the time, this isn't such a bad alternative for something to do at home that'll save you some money. So let's get the wax. Again, not sponsored, but I also use Meguiar's Carnuba Wax Gold. Gold Class Carnuba Plus. It's a nice, decent wax, liquid wax, that you do have to buff on and then wipe off. So we're gonna get that on. I don't think I'm gonna time lapse that also, cause I mean, it's gonna look the same as the Scratch X. So I wanna get it on and then you let it sit for a little bit and then you wipe it off. And the wax is on. Again, I don't know if you can see the nice little haze. So we're gonna let that dry before we wipe it off. And then we will move to the other side and do it all over again. The wax is dry. So we're going to get the wax off. Clean rag, never been used. And we'll see what happens. And finished product. I have no idea if you can see on the GoPro. Again, if you get super up close, yes, you can still see some. And I mean, you gotta get real close. I don't even know if it's showing up on the GoPro or not. I won't know until I edit this later.
This is not a perfect science here. This is a store-bought product that's meant for more minor scratches, and some of these were pretty deep. But look at from back here. Come on now. She looking pretty shiny. I'm gonna try something on the other side, just for the heck of it. So I said I had these pads. These are a little rougher. So I'm thinking of putting one of these microfiber ones on and then putting one of these over it because this is really thin. I don't want this to soak through to the actual buffer. So I think I'm gonna put this on and put this on. It's a little more abrasive and see if it does any different on the other side. I am not gonna record that whole side. Maybe we'll try and get a before again over here. I mean, you can see, you can see some of them. There's a really, really noticeable one. I took a picture of it. You can see it here. It's got like a little Z shape to it. And this guy here, you can probably see that one too. That's the ones I want to look out for. And maybe these here. I don't know if you can see these again on the GoPro. But the sun is starting to move to the other side. It's still shining right here just a little bit, which I'm not too worried about with the scratch X. By the time I get done with the whole this whole side, the sun should have moved onto the other side and hopefully the paint cools down a little bit. It's just that front end that's getting sun right now. The rest of it's in the shade, thanks to a tree right here. Let's get this side done and then I'll just show you an after. I'm not gonna film this whole other side. I just got done doing the other side, two rounds of scratch checks on each panel. And I gotta say that more aggressive pad, I mean, no duh, worked a lot better. I don't know if you can tell. Now I can still see the Z-shaped scratch, but I mean, it's almost non-existent. This is before wax. I just got all the scratch X done. So I still gotta wax this whole side, which is working out perfect. The sun is just moving to that side of the vehicle. So you can still kind of see it shining a little bit, but that shouldn't affect it too bad. But yeah, that, uh, that slightly more aggressive pad definitely did a better job. So let's get this baby waxed on this side and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And the wax is on. You can see there, wax is on. We're gonna let that dry. So while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to clean up the rest of my mess and then we'll wipe that off. We'll give it a final look on the camera. Let me get cleaned up, get all this stuff put away and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the product and whether I think it's worth it to you, the DIYer that doesn't wanna spend a bunch of money. Final results, got the wax all wiped off. Again, can you see some of the scratches still? I don't know if they're showing up. I don't know if you can still see it on the GoPro, but I can still see the little Z scratch right there. But you can see what it looks like. That big squiggly scratch that was here, that thing's completely gone. I cannot see it at all, no, no matter what angle I go at. I can't see it anymore. So that one was pretty deep, so that's still there. This side looks better. There's one running just all the way down here. But again, far, I mean, we got a mirror shine back here. So I'd say not too shabby. Let me get the sun out of my face. Okay, so my final thoughts. I have used Scratch X before on previous vehicles. And you know, as everyone knows, black is the worst color for just about every dirt scratches. They're gonna show real easy. I like the product. I think it works pretty darn good for what it is. For, I think it's $13 a bottle. It's not too bad. Rather than going and spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on paint repair. Now, that's not to say if it's in your budget, by all means, go ahead, go have it done. For me, this worked about as good as I could have expected and I'm happy with the results. I don't mind those subtle little scratches that are still in there again. I plan on running this thing into the ground, so I'm not getting rid of it. I think it works. Let me know in the comments. This isn't for professional. It's not for professional. There is a professional way to do it and get sandpaper and all that stuff involved and I'm not getting that deep into it. So for me, for a couple hours on a nice sunny Saturday in late September, it works great. Anyhow, I appreciate you watching. I hope you found this video informative if you were ever wondering about that product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.